A lot of people continue to fall into the trap of their own making, I have to say, of assuming that I'm saying that reality is utterly unknowable and we might as well forget about it, or that words are meaningless and we might as well not use them. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the tools that we have may not be able to encapsulate the totality of reality. Now, it, you don't have to be a genius to understand that. You don't have to be a fanatic to, you know, not subscribe to the idea that language is adequate for describing everything. Um, for example, describe the sky. Leave nothing out. That's just a little example of the inefficiency of human language. I built a shed the other day, or the other over the entire summer, finished it the other day. I used inches, yards, feet, you know, that kind of thing. Degrees, when I was using the chop saw to cut angled wood and everything. I haven't proven that the decimal system phenomenally exists. We use the decimal system because of the number of digits that we have on our hands. Um, in other words, it's more or less an artifact-based system, the decimal system. Ten fingers, base ten. You want to, you're going to tell me that the decimal system is not something of our own creation? Yes, it is. Um, <clears throat> as for logic being absolute, uh-uh. No. Just push the limits of numbers. As far as you want, you'll have an example. Numbers are illogical. You can never count to the end of the numerical system that we have. And yet the assumption is that we and take a finite piece of an infinity, like space. I used inches to build a shed. Have I therefore demonstrated that inches exist? No. <laughs> what I've done is I've demonstrated that the concept of inches is useful to us. By using logic, you don't demonstrate that logic exists. What you demonstrate is the utility of the tool, which is of your own creation.